What's puberty got to do with this little person? Everything. The dictionary defines puberty as the stage in a person's life when he or she becomes capable of sexual reproduction, which means that boys' and girls' bodies change, so that if a boy has sex with a girl, she can get pregnant and have a baby. In boys, puberty usually starts between the ages of 10 and 15, but it can start earlier or later. Puberty usually starts for girls between the ages of 8 and 13, but it can start earlier or later for them too. Everyone is on his or her own puberty schedule, and your body starts when it's ready. Puberty usually lasts around 6 years for boys and 4 years for girls. Both male and female bodies produce natural chemicals called hormones. During puberty, you produce specific hormones that begin changing your body from a child into an adult. The primary male hormone is called testosterone, and the primary female hormone is called estrogen. Beneath the penis, a boy has two oval-shaped organs called testicles. Remember the ovaries and the egg they produce each month? If this month's egg has been released and a sperm finds it, the sperm will attempt to get into the egg. A guy friend who is trying to impress you may not be a reliable source of information about how you do or don't get a girl pregnant, or how you do or don't catch a disease from having sex. A sexually transmitted disease is also called an STD. We'll talk about STDs later. Most young men's and women's bodies are capable of having sex long before they're prepared to deal with the potentially life-changing decisions that sex involves. We'll talk about these decisions when we discuss dating and marriage. Why is sex such a big deal? Why do people say it's private, but talk about it so much? Why do advertisers call cars and other products that have nothing to do with sex, sexy? Another physical change from puberty affects both boys and girls. They both can develop pimples, blackheads, and red inflamed patches on their skin. These blemishes can appear in places other than your face, but that's where they're most noticeable. Washing your skin daily and using medication designed to treat blemishes can help. Puberty can also affect you mentally. It can make you emotional and cause relatively minor things to seem enormously important. Being turned down for a date might seem like the end of the world. But knowing that such feelings may be created or made more intense by hormones can make it easier to cope with them. It can also help to talk with a mentor. A mentor is a person who has experience with what you're going through and can advise you. Your mentor might be an older brother, or a parent, or a counselor. We need to emphasize that girls are people. They aren't just girls any more than boys are just boys. Everyone deserves to be respected as an individual. Dating can be a lot of fun, whether you date different people or just one person. It's a chance to talk and share ideas, do things together and feel close to someone. But to make dating work, you need to find a person who wants to date you, too. If you want to find a girl to go out with, seek out situations where you and a girl can get to know each other. You could do this in a school class or by joining a club. Finding someone who is interested in the same things you like makes it more likely she'll be interested in dating you. This is called having something in common. One of the best approaches to dating is to become friends with a girl before asking her out. And her answer needs to be yes before you touch her. No means no. Maybe means no. Not now. Perhaps later. Only yes means yes. Sometimes, a girl can say yes using other words. You say, may I hold your hand? And she says, I'd like that. But if you're not sure her answer means yes, it's best to ask, is that a yes? just to be safe. At some point, she may say you don't have to ask before you take her hand or give her a hug or touch her in other ways. Just make sure you understand the ways of touching she's talking about.